Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey there, winos. This is Vince.Wine. Okay, so my friend Stuart over at Wine on the Dime has recently reviewed a Le Vie film over on his channel, so I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can go check out his video. But that reminded me that I was actually gifted a 2010 Magnum of Le Vie film. So as a 2010, I want to find out, does this wine really age well? Let's pop the screw cap on today's Wine Lab. Thanks for joining me. And before we get started today, if you want to be a winoceros, hit subscribe on this channel to become a wino today. I put out new videos every single Saturday, so be sure to hit that bell icon to stay notified for more great wine content. Le Ville Film, or The Old Farm, is actually a product made from the Perrin family, which are the producers of Chateau de Beau Castal. If you're not familiar with Chateau de Beau Castal, these are the people who make phenomenal Chateauneuf du Pop wine, amazing Rhone blends, Grenache, Syrah, Morvedre, or GSM blends from the Rhone region of France. And Chateau de Beau Castal uh, also are the people who originally helped to start Tablas Creek. You might be familiar with Tablas Creek Winery in Paso Robles, one of my all-time favorite wine growing regions. I'll leave a link right here for my reviews where I actually went to Tablas Creek. So we've got a little bit of pedigree on this wine. And let's take a closer look at the label. All right, so you'll have to excuse me. This is a bit of an older bottle, so it's a bit dirty. This is a Rhone Valley wine, Le Vieux Film. Ricolte, which is typically at the top um, of the bottle with a little sticker, that actually means harvest. So it's Harvest 2010, so it's a 2010 vintage here. Okay, and in my house, we drink this all the time, which is one of the reasons why I was super inspired to do this video. Uh, and we call it the chicken wine in my house. And so there you have the chicken wine as La Ville Ferme. It means the old farm. Mais en bouteille par la ville ferme. That means it's been bottled on the farm or winery. So Vintu Appellation de Origine de Controle. That's the region there. Red wine product of France. Okay, let's get this big old magnum in the glass here. Okay, I love the color of this wine. This definitely gives you a bit more of a garnet color here. Really beautiful. And certainly some of that comes from the light of rydals of this Cinso, Grenache, and Carignan blend as well. Little browning, little signs of aging in here as well, and a little bit of sediment in here as well. Okay, full disclosure, I actually had two magnums of this one, and I opened one last week. And the original buyer purchased this for $11 a magnum. And that's one of the best things about Le Verre Ferme. Their wines are an exceptional, extraordinary buy. This is old world French wine for about $11, a 750 milliliter bottle. This is again and again been rated and lauded for being one of the best values for your purchase. And I have to agree with that. So yeah, all of those sort of cherry and raspberry flavors are still there, but they've become this more rustic aromatic on the nose. They're like dry cherry, stewed cherry, really nice. Yeah, rustic is the right word for this. You can see some of that sediment in there as I do that. This is so lovely on the palate. There is like a savory thing happening on the finish here, which I really appreciate. That sort of barbecue has turned into more of a gaminess. That fruit is rustic and dried, as I called out on the nose. Now this is medium bodied with medium tannins and medium plus acidity. And I would argue that with this sort of aged characteristics of flavors here, this holds up a little bit better for food food than its younger counterpart. Ah, oh, but I could smell this all day. It is perfectly satisfying on the palate. It's got a medium to long finish. Mm. And you know what? Every single time that I get this on my palate and swallow it, I just go, yum. Yeah, winos, go find this wine. Seriously, you are not going to regret it. Now, this is called chicken wine in my house. This is sort of a go-to Tuesday night, just something to have open. It's so inexpensive, and it just offers so much. Is it the best of Rhone? Absolutely not. You know, it's it's no Chateauneuf du Pop. But for what it is, it is so much fun, and it's so enjoyable. And at that price point, you just can't beat it. So, Le Verre Ferme, this is a winner for me.
And to answer my own question, yes, this wine ages very well. You know, being in a Magnum bottle, it ages more slowly, and additionally, being in a screw top, that makes it age more slowly, and wines that age more slowly always do better. So certainly, if you can find a Magnum, that is the way to go. But the wine can hold up in any form, I think, and you're going to have a really great time with it. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, please leave me a like. That helps so much. Don't forget to share this video with your wine friends. And until next time, winos, drink safe and drink well. And I mean that. Drink safe and drink well. Cheers.